I think they still need more. I think they, after January, when you get those guys in the door, in that trade that they made with James, for James Harden, they have draft picks. They have expiring contracts. I think Batum has been a good fit, but the rest of what they have is easily upgradable. And I think you need more. You need a defensive-minded guard. You need a backup big man. Maybe a, somebody, they were in on Drew Holiday, so maybe it's an OG Ananobi type if he becomes available. Perk, but, what do you, but you need this? somebody else yeah. to fill out that roster. Well, chickens and waffles is what I ate yesterday. Chicken and waffles. Yeah. Okay. And chicken and waffles is what I tweeted about last night because Tyrese Max Maxi made me remind the world about chicken and waffles, meaning a 50-piece wing dinners and the three waffles. And that was the three blocks. <laughs> See, that's the thing. We could talk about how great Tyrese okay. Maxi we is on, on the offensive there, end. <laughs> and look. And no one, no one can be mad at that. He is the lead. He is explosive. Yeah. But when we think about him on the defensive side of things, okay. those blocks, those were huge. And he's not afraid of embarrassment. I'm watching him fight over screens. I watched him against the Celtics when he had a chase down block on Drew Holiday. When he went vertic used his verticality and blocked Derek White shot late in the game. So when I think about what he's bringing on the other side of the floor with that high motor, Tyrese Maxey hit different on both ends of the floor. Sure, but with those chicken and those waffles, <laughs> is there a side of gravy that they yeah. go all the way to kind the NBA sauce. Finals? Yeah. Too much food. Not just serve. Just serve. I oh. think Perk is just, just hungry. hungry.